Multilocation equations, meaning I've got a variable in more than one spot. And we're going to focus on variables in more than one spot, but they're on the same side of our equal sign. All right, so we got a big mess equal to 26. Moves that I'm going to make. Distribute to get rid of parentheses and get rid of fraction bars. Combine things that are alike after I've done both of those things, then I'm ready to use my familiar opposites. Opposite operations. So this is how this works. This is how this looks. Distribute to get rid of parentheses. You ought to be familiar with the idea of multiplying a leading term through parentheses. Right? I've got nine packages. Each package has one H in it, so altogether I have nine H's, and each package, each one package has a minus six in it. If I have nine of those, and we've got minus 54 all together. That's distributing through parentheses, distributing to get rid of parentheses. Fraction bars work very similarly. I have a package. In the package, there's three H's and a seven. I'm gonna cut that package into four pieces. I'm gonna take one fourth of that package. We actually could rewrite this as one fourth times three H plus seven. These, these two are expressing the same value. So this four, divide by four is being applied to the three. We've got 0 0.75 H's, and it's also being applied to the seven plus 1.75. Plus sign here. That's distributing. Distributing to get rid of parentheses, get rid of fraction bars. Second step, combine things that are alike. I've got 0.75 H's and I've got nine more H's. Those things are alike. All together we've got nine point seven five H's. These things are also alike. 1.75 minus 54. So together that's a minus 52.25. distributed, I've combined things that could be combined. I can't combine this with this because that's got an H and that doesn't. We haven't messed with the other side yet, but at this point, this setup should look familiar. You should know what to do from there. If you don't know what to do from here, you need to go back to two-step equations and deal with that before you start dealing with the more complicated stuff. So just to finish this off, add 52 on both sides, 52.25. We get 9.75 H's equal to 78.25. Divide by 9.75 each side, and we've got H equal to whatever I get there, which I'm going to want to grab a calculator for that. 78.25 divided by 9.75. All right, again, a nice, long, weird number like this, but it's approximately 
8.02. So I'm going to put my squiggly equal signs. If I wanted to check and see, am I correct? Make sure I didn't make any mistakes. I'm going to put an 8 in for H, and I should get close to, not exactly 26, because this is not exactly 8. But if I type this whole line in there, 3 times 8 plus 7, all of that over 4, plus 9 times 8 minus 6. So type the whole line in a calculator as it appears okay hit enter I'm getting very close to 26 and I knew that I wasn't going to get exactly 26 because this is an approximation not an exact number that we put for here and here alright so that is solving multi-step equations I'll do two more that is that is solving multi-location equations. I'll do two more examples, but strongly suggest when the next one flashes up and when the third one flashes up, you hit pause. Try it yourself. Check what you've done against what I've done so that you know yes or no, did I get that? Distributing to get rid of parentheses. 5 minus this minus 2 is the thing that's distributing. The minus stays with the 2. We, so we've got negative 2 times m. And we also have negative 2 times minus 11, which is going to give us a plus 22. Right? This is something you're going to have to be careful of. Minus signs stay with the numbers that follow them even as we distribute through parentheses. Plus, three times m, three m's, three times negative eight, it's minus 24. All of that is equal to 25. I'm not gonna mess with this yet. First move, distribute, distribute to get rid of parentheses and fraction bars if there were any. Second move, combine things that can be combined. I've got a minus two m's and a plus three m's, which means this is gonna be a very simple equation when we get to the end uh, because that's just one m or just m. numbers. If I combine them, we've got 45 plus 22, that's 67 minus 24, should be down to 43. So 1m plus 43 equals 25. At that point, I've distributed, I've combined. Now I'm ready to deal with the opposite operations. There's only one operation to undo. So, subtract 43. And we have m equal to negative 18. If I want to double check my work, I can put that negative 18 in here and here. And see if it makes the equation true. So that's looking like this. 45 minus 
2 times 18 negative minus 11 plus 3 times negative 18 minus 8 equals 25 solid know that I'm correct one more example to try again strongly recommend you hit pause try it yourself before you watch what I do Half of W plus half of 7. I took this package, split it in half. Still have our minus 5 W's is less than 31. Combine things that are alike. 0.5 W's minus 5 W's is negative 4 and a half W's. Still have this plus 3.5, can't combine it with anything less than 31. That's distributing, that's combining. Now we deal with opposites. Subtract 3.5 from both sides. W's is less than 27.5. Divide both sides by negative 4.5. You are going to need to remember that rule if I ever divide both sides of an inequality by a negative value, then Going to need to reverse the direction because I'm flipping across a zero. W has to be bigger than whatever I get here. Negative 6.1 repeating. Showing that on number line. Questions, ask a teacher in class.